Hello everyone, I'm Matiana and I am back with a video just to share me moisturizing my new hairline. And I'm doing this because since my new hair transplant, I tend to forget that I have a new hairline. And sometimes I remember and sometimes I forget, but when I do remember, I give special attention to my new hairline because I don't want to go back to having traction alopecia again. But there are times where I completely forget. But I'm going to try to not forget it because I don't want to go backward. Even though this new hairline is stronger than my original hairline, the hair was taken from the back of my hair and transplanted to the front. I know one YouTuber, Green Beauty, she did a video many, many years ago explaining uh, the frontal hair and the back hair and the science behind it. If I can find that video, I'll link it below. But if I'm not able to find it, you might need to search her channel for that video. This is what I should have been doing with my hairline before I lost my hairline. So if you still have all your hairline intact, take really, really good care of it because it's going to pay off in the long run. But since I have a new hairline, I'm just going to give a special attention to it. I'm going to do my midweek re-moisturizing. I'm realizing that it's best to isolate my hair and moisturize it. And Green Beauty also had done a video on that where she isolates her hairline and moisturizing it. So that's a knowledge that I wish I had before because that would have helped me focus on my hairline. That would have helped me notice when my hairline was thinning or was a little thinner than usual by isolating it. It causes you to kind of really focus in on it. So uh, I'm uh, from now on, I'm going to isolate my hairline and moisturize it and then moisturize the back of my hair because this hair right here is not going anywhere. This hair I know for sure will always be there, but by isolating it, it helps me pay special attention to it and I can notice variation. I can notice any new thing, any new thinning, or if something is going on, I can see it very easily versus moisturizing the whole head together. Today, I'm just going to do a very, very simple moisturizing routine. I will be washing my hair in a few days, so I'm just going to use Shea Decadence. This is the Mango Lasty, and I'm just going to seal it in with hair grease. But you use what works best for you. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but the hair grease is by uh, b and b and it's just the hair food. So this one can go on the hair and on the scalp as well. Previously, I had this in some twists, but I'm just gonna put it in a flat twist. A very loose, flat twist. I'm not doing it very tight because remember I'm trying to preserve this new hairline. We're not going backward. Can you see how much my hair has grown? my gosh now my hairline is moisturized and I'm really happy with how it's looking I'm going to proceed by moisturizing the rest of my hair on its own it just works best this way because even though this new hair you know is still fragile I still need to take care of it so it's just best to isolate it moisturize it and then moisturize the bulk of my head so this it's something I should have been doing before losing my hair. <laughs> but now that I got a second chance, I'm going to be implementing it in my regimen. 